I was listening to the phone orders that were coming in and a lot of people were ordering deep fried mushrooms. You were eavesdropping in the restaurant's phone calls? Weirdo. Hey, this is Amir. This is Diana. And you're watching Vegan Chisum. Welcome back to our channel. If this is your first time here and you're interested in vegan food and all other vegan things, you're in the right place. Sit back, relax, grab yourself some soup and enjoy this episode. We have new episodes every Sunday. I've been waiting to go back to this restaurant since we haven't visited in a long, long time. Since before COVID. Like way before COVID. Yeah. Already. Let's not waste any more time. Where are we at today? Today we are at Four Stones Vegetarian. It's close to Richmond Center, which is a very large shopping mall in Richmond. The interior has changed a lot since the pandemic. Now, they have way fewer tables, so the seating is very limited. You might have to wait for a table if you go. You look at the menu, which is by the door. Then you go to the counter to place your order and pay. And then if there is a table available, you sit down and then they call your order and you go pick it up, sit back down at that table to eat. So essentially it's a food court. <laughs> this place is not vegan, it is vegetarian, so they have some items that may contain dairy, but their menu is very clearly labeled so you can see which items are vegan. We ordered the deep fried abalone mushroom, the spring rolls, and two lunch combos. The first one was bean curd and black bean sauce, and the second one was mapo tofu. Spring rolls. Average spring rolls, nothing too special. There was about six pieces in the order. Kind of small, not that much filling. The sauce that it came with wasn't that great. These were actually pretty okay in my opinion. There were six of them, so that was a good amount for us. And these are very typical for dim sum spring rolls. Like there are so many different kinds of spring rolls, right? Different spring rolls, different fillings, different sizes. These are very typical of your dim sum spring rolls. So maybe Amir was expecting different kinds of spring rolls that he's had, but it was pretty good, I thought. One, One two, two, three. Give me three. Give me four. Let's talk about the deep fried abalone mushroom. The batter was pretty good, pretty solid. It didn't fall apart. But I tell you, it was way too salty. They really weren't shy with the salt on this one. It was okay. I didn't hate it, but I didn't quite love it either. What do you think? Dear God, I love this dish. I was so looking forward to having this dish. A dish that is very classic in a lot of Chinese places, like salt and pepper, deep fried anything, this time being abalone mushrooms. It was so good. It wasn't salty at all. If you had like salt and pepper, deep fried items, you know what I'm talking about. It is so good. I could have eaten this whole thing all to myself. Knowing that Amir didn't love it. Oh my God, why was I even sharing? I could have eaten the whole thing. I was being nice and like giving him all these like, dude, you should order this dish. One, One two, three. The mapa was pretty decent. The sauce was a little too thick, I thought. It had two different kinds of tofu. It had both soft tofu and deep fried tofu. I've never seen that in a mapo tofu before. <laughs> it's always no more than just firm tofu. Oh yeah? Why are you laughing? Because I'll explain it afterwards. Okay. And so that was interesting. And go ahead, explain it. So we ordered a lunch combo. The lunch combo comprises of a bowl of rice and some green vegetables and a side of tofu separate from mapo tofu it just happened that we got mapo tofu as our main so that's why amir thought like it was a combo of two different kinds of tofu it was just a side dish of they, tofu. Dumped it in? they dumped it in mine too oh if you had sat down, they didn't have takeout containers, it would have been separated. But because everything is in takeout containers, 
they just put everything into that one big container, so everything is. Well, that's pretty presumptuous that I wanted to make some. Oh. I actually really liked it. It had peppercorn, which gave you that really authentic numbing spicy taste that you don't get from a lot of different mapa tofus elsewhere. I really enjoyed it. It went really well with the rice. I could have eaten this whole dish by myself again. So I could have eaten this whole dish by myself again. So I could have eaten this whole dish by myself again. One, two, three. Another five. Holy moly, you Jesus. It came in two soups as well. One of them was vegetable soup. What was the other one? Herbal soup. Herbal soup. Let's talk about the vegetable soup. The vegetable soup was kind of bland. It seemed to have like onions and carrots in it, kind of boiled down, so it was very mushy. It was okay. What did you think? Bland, boring. No, thank you. <laughs> One, One, two, two three. three. Herbal soup. Herbal soup. What was that little grape thing you made me eat? I didn't make you eat yeah, it. Yeah, you said eat it. <laughs> Well, you were excited. I was like, yeah, go eat it. Yeah, you tricked um, me. You knew I wouldn't like it. <laughs> Didn't you? <laughs> I don't like it. I don't know about you. Yeah, you knew I would. <laughs> it's like a date. It's like a date yeah, sort of thing. It was like, it was like a uh, olive or something. Not know. an olive. It was a date sort of yeah. thing. It was bunk. Did you like the soup? The soup was definitely better than the vegetable soup. But overall, like I wouldn't, I wouldn't get it again. No. Okay. All right. Should we do it? Sure. One, One, two, three. Before we talk about the bean curd, let's talk about subscribing to this channel. What do you think? You want to do it? Go ahead, do it. Bean curd single. Yeah, so I was gonna again mention it was weird because it had tofu in it, <laughs> but that's why because it just dumped it so your side of tofu in there for you. Like here you go. This is this is how you're gonna have your food. Be over there. Crispy, nice. The sauce was good. I wish we would have had a little bit more vegetable, but pretty decent. I ordered bean curd skin rolls with black bean sauce. Did it come with black bean sauce? I don't think so. The flavor was kind of like a sweet sour thing, which I don't like. This was my least favorite dish because of that. Like, if you're gonna give me a different sauce, okay, but that's not what I ordered. So no, I didn't like this dish. One, two, three. Anyways, that's what we think. You guys go try it out yourself. And as always, make sure to let us know what you think in the comments. So Dana, would you go back to four stones? I would. You might have to wait for a table and they take a long time to clean between each seating because they really want to sanitize everything. The concept of having everything in takeout containers is also a little bit wasteful for the environment. But again, they're doing it because they don't want, I guess, the chance of anyone getting COVID from using regular dishes and utensils. The food is really, really good. Like, it's very authentic. It reminds me of like home cooking style. And there are a lot of dishes that you wouldn't normally be able to get from a lot of other Chinese restaurants because this restaurant is more Taiwanese style cooking. And we don't often go to Chinese restaurants that are like Taiwanese style. I don't think any of the items we ordered except maybe the deep fried abalone mushrooms really exemplify this type of cuisine. There are a lot of other things on the menu that I think we could have got that are better examples of what Taiwanese cuisine is. So I would definitely go back. What about you? Would you go back to Four Stones? Well, you know, before the COVID, even a few times, we haven't been there that many times, I would say three, four times. And I thought the experience was just okay. This time, I did not enjoy my experience at all. It would never be my first choice. No. The thing is there are very, very few vegetarian or vegan restaurants in Richmond. So it's like one of your only choices if you were in Richmond and you wanted something vegetarian. So there are I, a lot of places that have vegetarian options. Yeah, but you know you have to really ask 
yeah. enrichment. Like, yeah. and even then, I would be like, um, "Are you sure?" Because I love the fact that it's vegetarian, obviously, but I don't know, man. I just I wasn't stoked. Take a look at this video on Diana's face. It's another awesome place to review, or maybe it wasn't awesome. I don't know. You be the judge. Thanks for watching. Thank you for watching.